In this second video, we're going to learn how we can edit the Astra theme homepage on the WordPress site we just created. And we're going to be able to create a new Omni search bar for the homepage, create property widgets like the ones here, save links to create areas, this Google map widget and the Plunk home valuation tool. The first thing we're going to do is create an IDX broker Omni search bar and you need to go to your IDX broker dashboard and click on home and access control to get your API key. Now just copy this key and then go to idxaddons.com and to log in, you just need to paste that same key and click on login. Once you're in, go to the apps section and to the search subsection. We have different options for the Omni search bar. We're going to choose the most general one, which is the Omni search creator. You have different options available to customize the search bar. In this case, we're going to be changing the colors. Um, you can use your own colors. In this case, we're also going to modify the border to be two pixels so that it looks like the Astra theme. And you can change this to use your um, branding colors. For example, we can make the button color be a lighter blue. And we can make the hover color um, be whatever we want. In this case, we're going to be using black. Once you're ready, click on Save Changes. And if you scroll over to the bottom, you have the code that you'll use for your website. So you copy this code and we'll go back to our website and click on the Beaver Builder button. Here we'll be able to modify the search bar code. So click on the search bar and let's delete the current code we have for that bar because it's not working. And let's add instead um, the one we just created, which is linked to your IDX broker account and will show the properties coming from your site. And there it is. Here we have our working Omni search bar. Make sure to publish your changes every time you modify anything on your site. When you make any type of search, it will take you to your website's search results. These are some as an example. Now let's move on on to how we can create the widget we see as we scroll down. Um, this is the newest listings widget, but we can create it with any type of properties. Go back to IDX Broker to design widgets and legacy. And if you don't have a widget right now that you want to use, we can create a new one if we click on the create new button. In this case, we're going to be building a carousel widget and we're going to be using the custom search option um, in the advanced search. You have different options that you can choose from to customize the type of property that will show up on the widget. We're going to be removing all of the price restrictions and show all of the properties and sort them by um, newest listings first as you see in the sorting order field. You can customize the maximum number of columns and if you want to open the listings in a new link. Once we're ready, just click on build widget and it is now going to be saved to your account. We'll go back to IDX add-ons because we want to add a theme to the widget, but I want to take note of um, the color we're using for the search bar so that we can use the same one on the widget. And now to add a theme um, to the widget we just created, go to this showcase listing section and click on Speedy IDX widget. Um, we're going to be using this first option. If you want to compress the images, we suggest getting a Cloudinary account. If not, you can still use this um, just with a theme. So look for the widget we just created, which is called Newest Listings. And um, the theme we're using in the Astra demo is Austin. So we're going to select that. You can choose any other theme um, if you'd like. And let's customize the colors and add in um, the blue color we were using for all of the blue um, sections. And we were making the hover black. So that's what we're going to do for the widget as well. Okay. 
After we're done, um, we can save the color scheme. You can modify the fonts if you'd like. Um, and then click on Get Speedy. We'll copy this code to add it to the website. Um, let's go back to the Beaver Builder section and click on the widget we want to replace, which is this one. Now we delete the existing code and add in um, ours so that it matches um, your site. Click on Done, Publish, and Refresh your page. And there we have our new widget with our Austin theme. It's also possible to add in another column so that we get more listings. For this, we go back to IDX Broker in the widgets section back on Legacy where we were before. And we're going to be searching for the widget that we created, which was called Newest Listings. And click on the Edit Widget button. We go to widget options and change the maximum number of columns to be four and save the widget settings. After this, we go back to our website and refresh it and we'll now see the four columns of properties. Now let's work on the areas section. So let's suppose we work with the Texas MLS and we want to create a button that takes us to properties in Austin. Um, and for that, we're going to be using IDX Broker Saved Links. So let's go back to IDX Broker and click on Website and Saved Links. Let's create a new link and we're going to be using the Advanced Search page as well. It's the Austin MLS we're using, so we have to type in Austin as the city because that's the one we want to create. And in this case, we'll remove the price intervals, but you can add in any criteria you'd like from this advanced search page. After you're done, click on next step and add in a title. We're going to be naming this Austin Homes for Sale. And now once we're done, we just click on save and manage links. Now let's see how um, this save link looks. Let's preview it and these are the properties that would be showing up on that save link. These are all properties in Austin. So let's go back to our website and add that in. In this section, um, let's click on Beaver Builder and select the Doral area, which is the one we're trying to replace. You can change the image to be whatever you'd like it to be. You can make this an image about Austin in this case and add in the save link URL in this link URL section and make sure to save your changes. Now what we want to do is we're going to edit the text so that it says Austin instead of Doral and we're also going to be modifying this URL. So we type in Austin and then modify the link to be our save link so that both the image and the text take you um, to the properties in Austin. Now just click on done and publish the changes. Now refresh the page and both the picture and the link, the text, will take you to the saved link of properties in Austin. Moving on, we want to create the map section we have here at the bottom. And for that, we need to grab an address. We're going to be taking this one from Austin so that we can get the coordinates to add into the map widget. So um, what I'm going to do is copy this address and paste it on Google to make a search on Google Maps. Um, so once we locate um, this place, we have access to the coordinates if we click on the pin. So let's copy those and bring them to IDX add-ons. We have to search for the map widget this is in the Maps section and it's called Google Map Widget. This is the one we're using on the Astra theme. And in this Map Center coordinates, we're going to paste the latitude and longitude for the property in Austin. And this is going to center our map and it's going to obviously show properties nearby. We have different options available um, to customize the widget. For example, Map Zoom Level, 
and you can decide if you want the properties to show up as rows, cards, you can modify the style. In this case, we're gonna leave it as is, copy the code, and go back to our website and click on Beaver Builder as before and scroll down to the map section that we want to replace, which is this one. We click on it and in the code section, we're going to be replacing this code with the IDX add-ons one, save and publish. Refresh your page and you'll see the Google map widget we just created with the properties um, nearby Austin, which are the ones showing up. Now we're going to create this Plunk Home Valuation tool on IDX add-ons. We go back to Apps and search for Home and select the Plunk Home Valuation tool. You need to set up an agent phone number to receive notifications that somebody um, asked for a valuation on your site. And we have different pricing plans that you can choose from. In this case, we're going to be using the free version. Copy this code and go back to your website and click on Beaver Builder. And scroll over to the Plunk tool we want to replace and click on it to replace the code. Then we click on Save, Done and Publish. And the Plunk Home Valuation will show up to give your leads the option to search for um, the value of their homes. In the next video, we're going to be discussing how you can change the colors of your real estate site to match the colors of your branding.